Maayong Adlaw, good day my friends, Alden here and welcome back to a new episode here on Now in PH. On this episode, I'm gonna show you five of the city's best sight and sound. But it's not gonna be five places to see, rather different places in five different categories. So, ready ka na? Let's go! Welcome to Bye Bye. This city is situated in the central west coast of Leyte Island. It is bounded between the Kamata Sea of Cebu and the beautiful Leyte Mountain Range. It has a total land area of 46,050 hectares, making it one of the largest in terms of land area in eastern Visayas region. It is an important seaport with regular inter-island ferries that ply to and from Cebu. It has 92 barangays and is a predominantly an agri-fishery based economy. A great way to start the tour in the city is at the Plaza Independencia, or simply the Plaza Rizal. The focal point of the park is the obelisk of Dr. Jose Rizal that is ultimately the symbol of the city. It is depicted in the official seal of Bye Bye and is truly unique from any other Rizal monuments. This old plaza is shaded with decades-old trees with plenty of seating. It's a perfect spot to lounge at any time of the day or a place for your morning and afternoon strolls. The plaza is built in front of the Immaculate Conception Church. We are in Bay Bay City proper and behind me is the facade of the Our Lady of Immaculate Conception Church. This is perhaps the most photographed landmark dito sa Bay Bay. The construction of the church started way back in 1852 and was completed in 1870. Take a stroll through history and marvel at the iconic Our Lady of Immaculate Conception Church. This is the most famous landmark in Bye Bye. This stunning Baroque-style church took 18 years to build, starting back in 1852 under the watchful eye of Father Vicente Coronado. Then came the talented Maestro Proceso all the way from Manila to continue the project. Just when the finishing line was in sight, a fire raged in 1866, leaving only the Holy Cross Chapel standing. Thankfully, Capitan Mateo Espinoso, a celebrated painter and sculptor, stepped in to save the day. And finally, in 1870, the church was completed. Peek inside and you'll marvel at the stunning altar that houses the venerated image of the city's beloved patroness, the Nuestra Señora de la Immaculada Concepción. The San Isidro Chapel in Barangay Punta, south of downtown Bay Bay, is among the 500 Jubilee churches designated by Pope Francis in celebration of 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. This distinguished recognition is shared with only seven other churches out of the 48 located within the Diocese of Maasin. The chapel has been standing tall since 1634 and it is the oldest church in the Diocese of Maasin, 
even predating the Immaculate Conception Church in downtown Baybay by a whopping 236 years. the diocesan shrine of St. Anthony de Padua located in Barangay Pomponan. Uh, this barangay is situated about mga 10 kilometers south of downtown Baybay City. Bumili uh, ng candle and it's like 20 pesos. Let's get inside. The diocesan shrine of St. Anthony de Padua is one of the most visited pilgrimage sites in eastern Visayas. As per tradition, in every 13th of the month, the shrine draws countless devotees from near and far. It earned a reputation for the miracles attributed to St. Anthony de Padua, making it a place where the faithful gather to seek solace, healing, and divine intervention. Papasok tayo ngayon sa sanctuary ni San Antonio de Padua, which is believed to have healing powers. Uh, this is up as a miraculous saint. That's why maraming pumupunta dito sa Baybay. Stories of miracles and answered prayers circulate among the devotees, further fueling the belief in the shrine's spiritual power. Dito naman sa likod, you can say your personal petitions to the saint. You can actually touch his robes. Countless accounts of miracles cemented the shrine's reputation as a place where miracles truly happen. After a short 15-minute drive going uphill from Barangay Pomponan, we are here in the Visitation Shrine, or formerly known as the Diocesan Shrine of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the Church of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. This is perched on top of a hill here in Barangay Lintaon with the beautiful vistas of Baybay City and the rolling hills. In the embrace of nature's grandeur, nestled atop of a gentle hill, stands the visitation shrine that gazes out upon the vast expanse of the sea and the later mountain range. This divine abode, harmoniously blending with its surroundings, offers solace, inspiration, and a spiritual sanctuary to all who seek refuge within its walls. Take a look at my background. It's so beautiful and it's very quiet in here. Uh, but every Sunday, my regular mass dito sa shrine every 4 p.m. Just a few meters away from the shrine is the glorious 73 feet tall image of the Our Lady of Miraculous Metal. The Virgin Mary facing directly downtown Bay Bay reminds us that she stands as a guiding light, offering strength and guidance during life's turbulent times. Pilgrims and devotees flock to the site, drawn by the tranquility and spiritual energy it emanates. It's best visited during sunrise and shortly before sunset. Our best food finds and food trip spots, we have divided it into different categories. Siyempre, we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And speaking of breakfast, guys, gumising tayo ng maaga so that we can catch the sea of clouds while enjoying breakfast and coffee here in Incredible Cafe. Located in Villa Solidaridad, it's about 30 minutes east of downtown Bay Bay. Skip the snooze button. Catch the sunrise at Barangay Villa Solidaridad's incredible sea of clouds. 
This area has several breakfast spots, but this time, I went to Incredible Cafe. They serve affordable silog meals and great coffee. There's no better way to have breakfast in Bai Bai than having an enchanting view of the fluffy clouds. If you're planning to visit the place, make sure to check the weather forecast and arrive shortly before sunrise to catch the golden sunrise. Here at Incredible Cafe, you can sip your coffee while enjoying a beautiful sunrise. If you are craving for authentic Filipino cuisine, you can check out Minahalkita Native Restaurant. It's located just beside the mighty Pagbanganan River. It's the biggest river here in Baybay City. This quaint restaurant serves traditional Filipino cuisine in an al fresco dining with ingredients sourced directly from their farm. You can dine with a view of Pagbanganan River in one of their native cottages. I personally enjoyed their pork sinigang, lumpia, bami, and of course their best seller, their native fried chicken. If you are craving for seafood, look no further than Danmar Venue in Tuna Sugba. This restaurant is located in Barangay Bitanuan, about 10 kilometers drive south from downtown Baybay City. Denmark serves the best tuna in the entire Eastern Visayas region. Denmark Venue and Tuna Grill is the biggest restaurant in the city. They serve seafood but specializes in tuna. Fresh from the tuna capital of the Philippines, General Santos City. All right, guys, we are with Sir Jake, the operations manager of Denmark Venue in Tuna Subba. Sir Jake, what's our concert? Mm -hmm. Food for today, for today's our lunch. Food for today, uh, we have our uh, grilled tuna belly, one of our best sellers. The best. We have our grilled pompano. Mm -hmm. We have our seafood chop suey, our malasugi kinila, and our oh. malasugi tinola. And we have also our, um, our new product, the uh, Crispy tilapia. Crispy tilapia. Yeah, sir. Wow. Tingnan mo naman. What a lunch. With its ideally coastal setting and exceptional tuna-based cuisine, no wonder Denmark is really a must-visit when you're in Leyte. For that perfect afternoon snack, you can come here at Kawayan Cafe. This is perched on top of a hill at Lintaon Peak, and it has great views of Bay Bay City. Take a look. Kawayan Cafe, located on a scenic hill in Barangay Lintaon, offers a delightful dining experience. It's just a few meters away from the famous 16,000 Blossoms Park and a walking distance to the imposing Our Lady of Miraculous Metal statue. Enjoy your favorite coffee while having a picturesque view of downtown Bye Bye. Kawayan Cafe serves authentic Italian pizza sandwiches, and of course, great coffee. I personally enjoy their pizza margarita, pepperoni pizza, and clubhouse sandwich. If you are looking for something that is really authentic in Bay Bay City, come to the famous Pantalan Food Court here in the Boardwalk. This is a new facility in Bay Bay City that was launched last September 30th, and it houses the best chicken barbecues in town. And there's no other way than to watch a beautiful sunset at sea. The Pantalan Food Court at the Boardwalk houses the city's famous barbecue stalls. But one particular chicken barbecue stall stands out because they have been here for more than 50 years. And it's the iconic Mingai's Chicken Barbecue, a true Bay Bayanon staple. Ako si Cristiana Piamonte Otom Sabando, anak sa Magtiayong Dominga Piamonte Otom o Conciso Amadar Otom. 
Maoy tag-iya sa Mingay's Barbecue since 1970. Gikan sa sinugdanan, hantod karon na di hindi na lang kami, wala kami pasagdi, number one, sa ginoo, o sa mga customer nga lumad nga kumakaon sa Mingay's Barbecue, tungod sa gugma, respeto, pagmahal o pagsali. Uh, ako si Santini Agudera sa Bando, Asba ni Inday, tagiya sa Mingay's Barbecue. Bukas, Bukas alas G sa Buntag, yeah. Hantod, alas Noibi sa gabi. Eh. You can't go wrong with chicken barbecue mm. with the view of the sunset. Huh? in the Visayas State University main campus. VSU is one of the best universities in the Philippines, especially in the fields of agriculture and science. VSU is the Zonal Agricultural University in the Visayas. The VSU main campus has a total land area of 1,099.4 hectares that extends from the shore of Kamote Sea to the summit of Mount Pangasugan dubbed as the last remaining frontier in the region. The university is famous because of its beautiful landscapes and natural scenery. VSU is awarded by the Commission of Higher Education of the Philippines as a Center of Excellence in Agriculture and Agricultural Engineering and Center for Development in Development Communication. The Franciscan College of the Immaculate Conception is another beautiful school campus located in the heart of Baybay. Spreading over seven hectares, this Catholic school is known for its Paasco accredited basic education programs, manicured gardens, and prominent American architecture in its school buildings. What makes FCIC special? This school is run by the Sisters of St. Francis of Perpetual Adoration. It is a papal congregation based in Germany with branches in the United States and the Philippines. The only branch in the Philippines is here in Bye Bye. The newest man made attraction here in the city is Ayas Hill. Ayas Hill is an amusement park located in Barangay Bitanuan, about 10 minutes south of Bye Bye. Ayas Hill is an amusement park that features beautifully curated tropical plants in different colors. This is definitely a delight for plantitos and plantitas. Perhaps this park stands out because of their version of Singapore's super trees in their gardens by the bay. Ayas Hill is still on a continuous development. It will soon feature a zip bike, a swimming pool on top of the hill, and so much more exciting activities for all ages. Let's go back uphill to Lintaon Peak. When you're visiting Bye Bye, don't dare miss to visit the city's most famous man-made attraction, the 16,000 Blossom Park. We are in the 16,000 Blossoms Park located in Lintaon Peak. It's about a 15 to 20 minute uphill drive south of Baybay City. 
This is perhaps the most famous man-made attraction dito sa city. If you're wondering why there are 16,000 roses, it's because the charter day of Bye Bye City is every June 16 of the year. The 16,000 Blossoms Park is famous because of the 16,000 roses embedded on the hill. But my favorite part of this park is the breathtaking views. The journey to the peak takes around 20 minutes and offers picturesque views of the countryside along the way. Once you reach Lintaon Peak, you'll be greeted with a stunning panorama of Bai Bai City, the surrounding mountains, and the sparkling Kamotsu Sea. Alright, here's another popular man-made attraction dito sa Bai Bai. This is the famous Ambakan Footbridge, located here in Barangay Ambakan and this particular footbridge has awesome vistas of the surrounding landscape. Take a look. What a view. If you have fear of heights, naho, this is quite a challenge. Surrounded by the sea on one side and lush mountains on the other, Bai Bai City offers a diverse range of natural wonders that attract visitors who seek adventure. One of my favorites is the Pangasugan River. It's a perfect spot for a refreshing dip and enjoying the beauty of nature. It's one of the city's cleanest rivers, and it's only about 15 minutes north of the city. For adventure seekers, take a hike to Barangay Ampihanon's Tagkit Falls. The barangay is located about 30 minutes east of Bai Bai, and another one-hour trek to the main falls. Tagkit Falls is a captivating waterfall that cascades into a natural pool. Surrounded by lush greenery, the falls provides a refreshing retreat. Visitors can swim in the cool waters, picnic in the area, or simply marvel at the natural beauty of the waterfall. My favorite natural wonder in the city is Tanawan Peak. It's located in Barangay Plaridel about 20 minutes south of the city. From the barangay, it's about a one to two hour trek, depending on your stamina. A trek to Tanawan Peak is an opportunity to witness stunning natural landscapes. As you ascend the hill, you'll be rewarded with panoramic views of the valleys, forests, Kamotsu Sea, and distant mountains. Being surrounded by natural elements can be a refreshing and immersive experience, helping you feel more grounded and connected to the environment. These are just a few of natural attractions in and out around Bai Bai City. There's so much to see in Bai Bai, and on the list are just some of my favorites. Whether it's exploring rivers, waterfalls, or coastal landscapes, Bye Bye offers a variety of natural wonders that showcase the beauty of the Philippines. Thanks so much for watching our Bye Bye City episode. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you again on our future trip. Cheers! <laughs>